Now, I met today with that disgusting, failing rag. It's like a tampon, I'm telling you, it's like a maxi pad. The New York Times, all right? After I had that fantastic and incredible interview with 60 Minutes in that Leslie Stahl. What the hell is that stall anyway? Wait, like you go in like one of those transgender, I bet it is, one of those transgender restrooms. Okay, where was I? So, I did, I took pity on the New York Times, okay? I gave them an exclusive. And so that maybe they wouldn't continue to lose millions and millions of subscribers because nobody reads that. Nobody reads that crap anymore, all right? Now, I told them who's who. I told them I'm in charge now. And then I told them a couple of other things. First of all, global warming Chinese hoax. Open mind. I have an open mind. Locking up Hillary Clinton, putting her in prison for the rest of her life, and Bill Clinton, too. I don't really feel strongly about it. This poor woman, she has been through enough suffering. I mean, people went after her. I don't know. I defended her constantly, Crooked Hillary. But that campaign was brutal. So, you know, just let her go off into the pasture and, you know, retire on the farm along with the other farm animals, okay? Now, as far as Trump, International Worldwide Global Incorporated Corporation Conglomerate, Inc., I could run my business perfectly and also at the same time, at the same time, run the country perfectly, literally, perfectly. This is what I'm telling you. However, I am going to put Trump Inc. in a blind trust, whatever the hell that means. I don't know what that means. Where my children are going to be running it and I won't have, we're not going to talk about it at Thanksgiving, okay, or any other time. Now, Baron Trump, my 10 year old, will be the CEO. Now, I know what you're thinking. He doesn't say anything. He has no expressions on his face, but he's a good kid. And he's really, really, he's always thinking. He's always thinking. And also, Jared Kushner will be running it along with David Duke and Steve Bannon. Steve Bannon, good guy, good guy. He's sort of like Negan on The Walking Dead. Now, what about Ivanka, you may say? Well, Ivanka, she's gonna have top secret clearance. Total top secret. Even, you know, things that even I don't know. Ivanka will know. Well, maybe I'll get them out of her somehow. Now, as far as my relationship with the president of Kenya, I met with him, as you know, and Obama. And it really was fantastic and incredible. It was such an honor. He has achieved great things. And I will be seeking his counsel. And... You know, I assured him that I would do everything in my power to wipe him out of history and that I would be a great 45th president, but also a great and fantastic 44th president. Because, you know, totally, he would not show me his long form birth certificate. I don't know what's wrong with this guy, although it is kind of charming. We had chemistry and I think I felt a little something down there. I really did. I really did. Couple of other quick points. Saturday Night Live, so unfunny, so unfair, so biased, okay? And that Alex Baldwin Hamilton, terrible, the worst. He should quit show business. He makes Trump look like some sort of a drag queen. I don't know what the hell he's doing, okay? Awful, totally terrible. I love Alex Baldwin, I'm telling you. I, look, it, it's all a good fan, it's all a good fan. But Mike Pence, my vice president, who I call Penny Boy. How the hell did he get tickets to Hamilton? I can't even get tickets to Hamilton, right? I could literally stand in the middle of Broadway and shoot the entire cast of Hamilton, and I could not get a ticket to ha Hamilton. Now, they had the nerve to lecture Penny Boy about upholding the values and the rights of all the people and diversity and the men and the women of all races and creeds. I don't even know what a creed is. What the hell? Nobody uses that word anymore. I don't know what it is. Creed. And orientations. I love the Orientals, all right? The Chinese, they're like my best tenant, okay? So it was so unfair. And they attacked him, apologized Hamilton. Hamilton, a radical Islamist jihadist terrorist musical. Not good, not good at all. Immediate apology, I demand on behalf of me. So, in closing, everyone, 
I just want to tell the Khan family that I have not forgiven you or forgotten you. All right? And now that I'm the richest, most powerful, and most famous person on earth, I'm going to be coming after you, Khans. And also that Megan Kelly. All right? That Megan Kelly. And also John McCain. And also, of course, Rosie O'Donnell. And all I can say is, Trump bless Trump America. <laughs>